Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Unscripted Coding. You can see that we have my table here, not perfectly clean. Um, and that means we're not going to be doing the usual coding. What we're going to be doing is playing around with uh, computer fans. So I have here an Arctic P12. They come in this really handy uh, value pack. So there's five in a pack. I've used a few for my computer, and I was thinking there has to be a good use for the rest of these. So the pack usually costs about 50 to 60 bucks deep. And I was thinking these are, these might make really, really good window fans. They're quiet, they're power efficient, they're designed to put a lot of air. And I've had, you know, Honeywell and, and uh, other window fans that are just really loud at night. And they're not, they're not in a competitive market. I can't see them having very efficient fans. They're probably relatively good. A fan is a fan, but um, in the world of computer fans, there's there's just so much competition that I'm I'm sure these are very very well performing. So um, what I wanted to do was grab. A standard 12 volt, uh, 12 volt 2 amp AC adapter. You can see this is the standard plug, and and see if I can hook this this up. Now, what's really cool about these Arctic fans, it, and they're not. It's not true for every fan, uh, every computer fan, but they. Uh, are able to chain. So each one, uh, presumably you would take this uh, female plug and plug it into your motherboard and have it run off your computer. But for computers that don't have uh, a lot of fans, uh, a lot of uh, plugs for fans, um, they let you chain this one to another one. And so here, and another one, and another one. So I was reading, and these things take, you know, point, point 0.1, uh, sometimes even less than point, point 0.1. Well, I think the average computer fan takes about point 0.2 amp, meaning that if you take your standard computer plug that provides usually one amp, talking about desktop computers, um, they recommend chaining about three to five of these tops. Um, and I think they put a limit of five. But we're powering this, well, we're planning to power this through an AC adapter. So uh, the sky's the limit, as far as I can tell. We can keep chaining these uh, two amps. Um, and, and these ones are more power efficient than your usual uh, usual um, computer fans. So let's say 0.1, we'd be able to put 20 of these fans in theory. Let me just move this out of the way and show you. This is a, a fan that came from my from from the case of my computer, and you can see it doesn't have that uh, ability to chain multiple multiple fans. And you can see the designs actually quite different as well. So it's not it's not quite as encompassing uh, and. Believe me when I say these ones run uh, quite a bit loud. So these ones have that nice curve. Anyways, uh, what's really important to know is that this is technically a four pin port and there are three pins here. Two of these are ground and 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 power. So uh, I, I assume the first two Guess screwdriver here. The first two, this one and this one, are gonna be ground and power. The last one is a PWM control. PWM stands for, I think, 
pulse width modulation. And what it means is you send pulses of, of power into it, and the frequency will set how fast these fans go, whether they go, um, whether they go, uh, I don't know how many RPMs these ones go, but let's say from 200 RPM to 1500 RPM. Uh, that's all determined by, I think, this last pin. Now, uh, what our project today is going to be is really quickly see how we can connect this up. So I actually brought some, bought some extra cables and um, these ones are normally meant to lengthen your computer fan. So uh, let's say your pin on the motherboard is, is really far away from your computer fan. Uh, these ones will lengthen it just a little bit and you can see these are the right connectors. And we can, we can plug this in to lengthen it. The whole idea here is I don't want to damage these ports these plugs in, uh, in case I want to use these in a computer in the future. So uh, the goal is to attach a bunch of these together and, and just power it. The, so I think that's enough work for one video, but I wanted to give you guys a sample of what I wanted to actually do. And so I think this is going to be a two-parter. I also ordered this which is an RF receiver and one of these. Uh, this is an RF remote with four buttons. And I think you can figure out where I'm going with this. Uh, and finally, we have, of course, an Arduino. The whole idea is I want to build a window fan. I want to build one that's quiet, that pulls in and out a lot of air. And I don't think it's a great experience if I just plug it into the wall and remove it. And having an RF receiver means I can have that fancy remote. Um, I can intercept the power with an Arduino and basically, uh, basically make a control it from a distance, um, change the direction of the fan, change the RPM. Um, I'm not sure what I can control with this, but the whole idea is to move a little bit further. So uh, first things first, let's, let's, um, let's attach this here. So we have a cable that can connect. We have this barrel adapter and what's really cool is I ordered one of these from AliExpress. Now, normally this barrel, you can see uh, the different plugs and one part would be ground and one part would supply the power. Um, this little adapter, breaks it out into two really obvious uh, sections for you. And the whole idea is you can put some exposed wire into it and use these screws to tighten it up, to, to clamp it down on that exposed wire. And so this will make our job much, much easier. Okay, uh, you know, maybe this is gonna be easier than I thought. So we get cables here. I have these cables. Um, let's, you know, ideally I'd get the right colors, but let's go red for positive. Screw here. Yeah, that's nice and tight. Uh, we'll have yellow round. I don't know if that is the most logical color, but okay. Um, these ones are nice and tight. Okay, uh, let me just plug the power in here. 
Okay. So this might be simpler than I thought. Um, we have these two over these two down here, the two pins that I think are the power. So it is the left pins. If I pull this over here. Hmm. I think. Even though they're flat, uh, the color corresponding to it is blue and yellow, then it kind of flips to the other side. That is interesting. So blue and yellow are the ones on the right. Let's just put this in. And here. Okay, nothing's happening. So let's flip these around. Okay, nothing is happening. So let's go back to the flat method. Uh, so these should be the left two pins. So here. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. Okay, let me grab the last pen. <laughs> Another one here. Let's plug in another one. There you have it, nice and simple. So I've seen these used in all sorts of places. Um because they're they're just Really good, quiet fans. You you can barely hear them. Uh, I think because we're not sending anything, they're just going at max speed already. And that turned out much easier than I thought. Uh, so all we did really was use that splitter that came with the standard uh, 12 volt 2 amp power plug, we connected them up to a cable with, uh, with these fans. And so, you know, now that I think back, this, this is really quite a simple test. Uh, we did spend, I think, 10, 15 minutes talking about it, so I don't want to make this video too long. Just stay tuned for the next one, because we want to build this into something you can control with, say, a remote. Um, something that you might use Bluetooth or something else to control. And so uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you enjoy more of these electronics types of videos rather than just coding. I'm happy to keep trying different things. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe.